you so much for joining me here on my channel. We're back with another 72 hour forecast. This is going to be for December 22nd until the 24th or no, not the 24th, the 25th. <laughs> Any information that you may be needing will be listed in the description. Just check there. I will have my uh, Patreon community link listed below if you want to join us over there on Patreon. It's literally $5 a month for you guys to get all the exclusive content that I post as far as pick a cards, um, extended readings, all that stuff. And yeah, all my information will be below. But let's go ahead and get into the reading itself. And what I've been kind of meditating on in terms of your energy. So when I was in meditation, Aquarius, I was getting this energy of you guys really just wanting to be left the hell alone. Like, I just get this energy of you wanting your... You just want to be left alone. And this could be by specific people. Like, you don't want specific individuals to be reaching out to you, contacting you, whether this is family, exes, whoever... Or literally you're tired of people kind of like, I don't know, attaching themselves to you and like sucking on your energy in a sense, like an energy vampire. You may have energy vampires in your life in a sense, and you could be wanting to separate yourself from those type of people, all right? Or even narcissistic types of individuals where it's like you're starting to realize dang you really are narcissistic or dang you really do have it out for me in certain sense in a certain sense excuse me um speaking of that especially like in the workplace you could be feeling like people at your job are like jealous of you because you work harder or they're being extremely hard on you for no reason when there could be other people at the job that they could be focusing on right Um, yeah, a lot of you just kind of want to keep to yourself. And when it comes to like a new business endeavor or a new path that you're trying to take in regards to your career, it's a lot of gathering that's happening uh, during this time frame. This is you trying to gather information on what you're supposed to be doing. Um, if it's, if this is a business, this is trying to find ways to improve your business or take it to the next level. It's like you're in the gathering stage, the gathering stage, and you may want to be left alone just for that reason. You may be having so much creative genius that you just need a moment. Hmm. Okay, so kind of speaking on my loners, I also get the energy that some of you have been already loners. Like prior to this time frame, you've been the type to be extremely lonely and to yourself. And you could be seeing how that's affecting like your mental health and even your energy. Like when you're around people, you could find yourself very sensitive to their energy, their vibration, and it could be taking you a lot to kind of like readjust to kind of going back out into the world especially if you are somebody who works from home and like now you have to go back to work or something and now you're around all this energy at your job and it's like oh my god I wish I was back at home or it's like you're trying to make more of an effort to meet new people but it's like in trying to meet new people and dating it just feels like constant letdowns or feeling like the people that you're connecting to don't resonate with the energy that you hold essentially so that's interesting i want to go ahead and flip the camera and kind of get more of an in-depth view of what's going on so let's go ahead and do that all right aquarius let's go ahead and see what december 22nd through the 25th has in store five card spread so let's go ahead and get straight into it the current energy around you Aquarius we do have go or not go but the full card <laughs> okay so this is literally the full card in the regular tarot but um with the full card showing up here in this position this is actually really positive this is you guys trying a new approach this is realizing that maybe your approach to things wasn't really 
reaping you the um, benefits or let me not say benefits, but the results that you were looking for. So for instance, this could be like you trying to fill out job applications, right? And you may be hitting a brick wall in terms of actually getting considered. But once you kind of change the way you may be either doing your applications or the way that you're filling them out, then it opens like the doors or clears out the blockages you could have been essentially kind of dealing with. Um, another thing I kind of see, if it's not a new approach you guys are adapting, it's like you guys are really open to newness as a whole. Like where you may have been like, you know what, I just want my ex to come back or I want this person to come back or I don't want love at all. It's like a lot of you are starting to be open to new experiences or new energy as a whole. Some of you also could be taking a leap of faith in regards to like dating someone, starting school. You could be wanting to um, go to school for a trade here. Okay, you guys could be doing something really risky during this time frame. Now, love specifically, I do have something shady way, which is the Seven of Swords. And yeah, with love, you could be either dealing with somebody who's avoiding you or you're avoiding them. There could be avoidance when it comes to certain topics or conversations, either on your end or this person's end. Or there's literal cheating. Okay, because this Seven of Swords doesn't have to necessarily just mean cheating. It can mean different things as well. Um, but this Seven of Swords could also manifest more so as like things that aren't being said that are being hidden below the surface about either the way you feel or what you've been thinking why is the seven of swords here seven of wands so yeah there's some sort of avoidance and some of you guys are stressed the hell out because you haven't spoken to this person or literally this person's cheating and that's like the bulk of the problems Okay, things are not being said, and so that's why there's this conflict or defensiveness coming off of somebody. Now, what I see in regards to the career energy around you, we have the Knight of Pentacles. So, in your career, this feels like literal slow and steady um so it's like you guys are working your way up to either a higher position at your job it may take you a lot of work a lot of dedication and a lot of proving of yourself in order for you for you to get promoted but you guys are on that journey um with the business you guys may be building it up trying to get the paperwork like the legal stuff in order trying to get the um the wholesale products trying to get this trying to get that or you may have your business launched and it's just slow in terms of customers and, and getting sales. But it's a slow and steady race, understanding that when you're fo first building up a business, excuse me, um, it's not instantaneous results that come from it. Okay, that's lies that Instagram will tell you. All right, typical person doesn't have a six figure business in the first month of launching it. Now... This is also making sure that you're um, being resourceful with your finances, especially if you feel like money's kind of moving a little bit slow or not at the pace you would like it to. Now, advice for you with the temperance card. Um, there's a need for you to have a level of patience where um, it counts. This is making sure that you're not letting impatience also make you make decisions that you can't go back on. Okay, so a good example of this is like just dating anyone like an ex or, you know, somebody who you weren't really interested in before just because you may be impatient when it comes to love. That could get you into a trick bag situation if you're not careful. And that's just an example here. Um, this is also, like I said, being patient with the business. Understand you're not going to be a millionaire overnight and it's not an instantaneous success thing at all. All right. Also finding common ground within you and your partner where you guys may kind of exemplify different types of energies. You may be somebody who's more emotional. This person may come off kind of cold, but they're really not. Um, this is finding a common ground and making sure you really understand who you're dating to. So you don't run into this issue of thinking that this person doesn't want you because you don't understand them and how they interact in different cases. 
Now what's next? I do have the Ten of Swords, which is the Darkest Before Dawn way. And with this, um, for a lot of you, this is the end of... This is the end of betrayal um, where there may have been a cycle of energy of you dealing with somebody who is just kind of like either betraying you by dealing with other people. This is bad arguments. This is you being overwhelmed with thoughts when it comes to the state of your relationship. So a lot of you, it's like this finally comes to a head. Some of you may even decide to cut off somebody that you're interested in or dealing with after realizing that this situation is too stressful either they're too defensive or it's too challenging and where you see yourself in love moving forward you just feel like this is not aligning with what you're you know trying to trying to see yourself in in the future like you may want to get married have kids do all these things and you may not necessarily be seeing that this is on the trajectory of that But these are some of the things that I see. I do wish you the best of luck and I will see you in the next one.